all right guys welcome to my video in this video I'm going to be talking about blue green deployments especially in the context of kubernetes right so let's try and understand this thing imagine that we have a kubernetes cluster and on the other side is basically us we're trying to access this uh, application that we are going to create in this kubernetes cluster so we have an application which is running as a pod uh, version 1 basically and that's the port it's listening on port 80 and we have kubernetes service which is listening on port 8080 okay so this is a service that we are going to create as well and then in front of the service we have uh, an ingress service and that will be listening on a port between 30,000 and 32,767 for example whatever this number is and you need to create what uh, they call as ingress rules basically and then finally you when you have everything set up uh, you can basically put the IP of one of the Kubernetes nodes and you can just put the the port on which the service is running and then you can get to the the web page that is actually being served by this web application okay then finally we will be deploying another version of the application in the kubernetes cluster and we're going to basically uh, make a switch we're gonna do some changes to the service and then basically it will point to the version 2 of this application and when we make this switch we'll basically see the the content uh, of this web page changing so you have a, an application which is a blue deployment and that is serving user traffic and at some point we're going to deploy another version of the application and we're going to redirect the traffic to the new version that's essentially it so this new version is basically the green deployment okay all right so enough looking at this picture so let's jump into command line and have some fun so the first thing is we're going to deploy the application right so the application I have, let me show you the YAML files or the manifest, okay? So it's basically a simple application uh, that I created. And this one I created based on Nginx image, etc., etc., right? So it's basically a very simple application, okay? And as you can see, it's got these um, labels and these labels are going to help us uh, basically make the site switch so I'm going to go ahead and create this application I'm just going to simply apply this manifest so there you go so this blue deployment or blue application is actually created so you can actually like look at pods that are running. I might have other pods that I created at some point running. So ignore these pods. Uh, but basically we have a blue deployment pod here. And then if you want to look at the, the deployments, there you go. So there's a blue deployment. Okay, so the application has been created. Now let me create the service that's going to be pointing to this application, right? So the service is basically going to look like this. So it's called my app service. And as you can see, it's going to point to an application which is running on port 80. The service itself is going to be running on port 8080. Okay. So I'm going to be creating this service. There you go. The next thing is basically the ingress service. 
So what I did was I actually used a manifest that I got from this particular URL. As you can see, it's like an ingress nginx manifest, deployment manifest. And all I did was I just did kubectl apply and this, right? So you have this. So this is the, the service that I was talking about. It's running in ingress nginx um, namespace and it's a node port service and it is actually running on this port as explained uh, before basically it's going to be one of the ports between 30,000 and 32,767 okay we have de basically deployed everything that we need right so let me try and access my web page which is running here at this point there is no version 2 so I, my web page is still running here because I just deployed version 1 of my application as you can see version 1 so all I need to do is I just need to find the public IP of my uh, Kubernetes node we get that and then we go to my browser and put that IP and then colon and you have the 31614 which is basically the ingress service uh, ingress service port also I forgot to tell you that we need to create the ingress rules as well and this is one last piece that we need which is basically going to dictate how uh, the redirection is going to happen so basically whenever I try to access this this URL right here with slash home and that's going to basically take me to the service which is pointing to our application right so I'm going to go ahead and create the rules ingress rules and finally we can hit this web page there you go so you have a blue deployment which is the web page that is coming from version 1 this one right here right so now what we can do is so we are going to go ahead and apply the version 2 manifest which is going to be very similar to what we saw before uh, as in like application version 2 so let me show you the manifest also so this is basically again an application based on a simple nginx image the only thing that is different is the content of this website this html page um, and this is version 2 so this is a green deployment and I just uh, went ahead and applied this YAML file so which created the deployment right so at this point you have both both blue deployment running and green deployment running right and uh, yeah so the web page is still the same blue deployment so now what I'm going to do is I am going to recreate or apply some changes to the service which service I'm talking about this service over here this service over here instead of pointing to version 1 it's going to be using this particular selector label version 2 and basically this is where we are making the switch we are going to cut off and we are going to point to version 2 right so let me go ahead and apply this service there you go so your service has been created okay so now or the changes have been applied to the service 
So now I'm going to go ahead and like pay attention. Now this is blue deployment and I'm just going to refresh. And now basically we are pointing to a green deployment. So that's because we just repointed the service to the new version of the application, right? Okay. So now if we want to roll back, I, I just have to apply the old version again, which is basically making the service switch back to the old version one deployment. And that is blue deployment. So rollback is very easy as well. Okay. So this is basically how a blue green deployment is done. As you can see, the the way that we are redirecting our traffic, our user traffic is actually seamless. So there is very little downtime when we do this actually. All right, guys, I hope that was clear. That's basically blue green deployment. And if you guys want to uh, learn more uh, of Kubernetes, then just take a look at uh, the Kubernetes playlist that I created and uh, you will learn a ton by watching those videos and please subscribe and hit the bell icon on my channel and uh, i will see you guys on the other side thank you